bit later on. Uh, what we'll be cooking for Ollie at the end of the show. We'll be facing food heaven, lamb chops and a spicy chilli jam with Thai-style lamb salad or food hell mussels and a classic moule marinier with yeah. French fries. So, Tom, what do you like the sound of? Are you going to go over the mussels or are you going to go over the lamb? Very easy choice for me. Shellfish allergy, so I'm going straight for lamb. Yes. Pretty obvious. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Lately <laughs> obvious. There we go. Right, next up is a man in charge of the Michelin starred Marlowe pub, the Hamden Flowers. It's the brilliant Mr Tom Kerridge. Great to have you back on the show. Thank you very Your much. Second Thank time you. on the show. So second time. On the menu as well. What, what's on the menu for you today? We are doing pollock, and we're going to do pollock with some radishes from my garden, grown by yep. Mr Andy Cryer. Yeah. Some uh, borage flowers, again, from the garden. Some Girol mushrooms, nice butter sauce, and a little bit of lardo to go on the top. Sounds good to me. But you're going to use the pollock that we we've are got going to use Now, pollock. this is uh, more sustainable than cod and haddock. Yeah, that's it. It's, uh, it, it. This is Cornish line court pollock. Yeah, uh, it's you know beautiful piece of fish, very similar to cod, very similar, but it's got um, the flakes on it are a little bit tighter, so it's uh, yeah, but it's quite soft, isn't it? When you when you fillet it, that's it. It's it quite it. soft. So what we're doing here is we're salting it for yeah. a couple of hours just to draw moisture out of it, just to firm the fish up, and just to make it a little bit more. Uh, a little bit firmer when it cooks. But when you look at the fish as a whole, it's it's kind of like a. A skinny cod, would that be right? A skinny cod is probably like a that, fair yeah. comment. Yeah, a skinny yeah. cod, yeah. OK, so this is one that we've just done. It's been salted for about two hours. Just mm -hmm. any excess salt take off. Portion it up. Yep. Now, classic Burblanc, of course, you've got shallots, which you strain off anyway, but you yep. want these nice and finely sliced. Nice and finely sliced. We strain it off. Pollock goes into a pan. I put it on a bit of butter paper. You can bake, use baking parchment if you like, but yep. if you've got butter paper hanging around, I'm sure you've got about 20 packs at your house, Mr. Martin. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> straight, it's into, not true. It's straight not into the oven. I've actually got on to dripping now, mate. Oh, good man. <laughs> Does that come in packets? Yes, it does. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can get it by the 20 feet, 25 kilogram block as well, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay. so we've got the shallots in there. Shallots in there. In. White wine vinegar, white wine, some thyme, yep. and some peppercorns. Don't yep. chop your finger, James <laughs> Martin. Don't chop your finger. Thank you very much, Jaro. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> so, a little bit of bird block. Classic little, French style sauce. Classic French style sauce. We're going to bring this right down to a glaze, and it gives it a, a lovely kind of acidity, richness to go through a butter sauce yep. that we're going to serve with the fish. Okay. So right, I'll prepare our radishes. So prepare. tell us about the mushrooms then. Mushrooms, Girol mushrooms, just coming into season now. They're fantastic. You can get them from, uh, well, the, the Scottish ones are around now, and then English ones will start growing, well, very, very soon. With the yeah. weather like this, it'll be yeah. pretty much now. Um, OK, they're fantastic. Gennaro apparently told me that they smell like apricots. Yes. Although I'm not convinced of that. Uh, it smells no, like pollock, because you haven't your hands. It smells no, like pollock. No, there yeah. is, actually, there is, the name is apricot-scented mushroom. And I know for sure. And when they're fresh, you pick them up, you go like that, they give it a lovely sense of apricot. Well, orange, you know, or the colours Sounds also good to me. the apricot. Sounds good to me, but That's fresh right, mushrooms right. are delicious. That's fresh right. mushrooms. Like you say, coming into season now, particularly yeah. with the weather. But uh, you're not a fan of washing the... Uh, well, you're not a fan of... Scrubbing these, you like to wash them as well. Yeah, bit. wash them are fine. Yeah, I think there's a bit of a fallacy about mushrooms that you can't wash them, you know, that they, they, they take on too much water. I think it's quite easy. We're, we're poaching them almost in a <coughs> mixture of wa water and butter, like an emulsion. We're bringing it together and just all those lovely flavours will come through and keep, yeah. you know, a lot of the mushroom water will come out and a bit of salt. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, the fish, you give it, what, a couple of minutes before we turn it over? Yeah, about, about yeah, three minutes either side, probably. Right. OK, butter into a pan. A little bit more butter. It's butter everywhere. It's great. Isn't it? This is why I keep inviting you back on. Yes, yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got butter yeah. and the radishes. Now these radishes, they're beautiful. They're peppery. They're fantastic. They're really lovely and moist. You can see all the water in. And the problem yeah. that we were discussing earlier, coming from supermarkets, sometimes they come out of the, the, the ground too early and they leave them there. And you know yeah. the leaves are fantastic to eat and they dry out. So yeah. here we're just going to gently sweat them down. But cooked radishes are so delicious, and particularly when you, like you say, you eat, the, eat them fresh out of your garden. There's so much water in there. Absolutely. So much pepper in there as well. Yeah. Now, as well as these guys, Holly's doing his 
festival. I've done my festival. You're doing a festival. Where are I you this do, summer? I'm doing Jimmy's Harvest Festival. Alleluia! I'm doing a festival. <laughs> well, <laughs> great. <laughs> You're supposed to do Jimmy. I didn't ask you. <laughs> well, because everybody's doing it except me, so I said, <laughs> I'm doing yeah. it. That's in September, isn't it? That's in September, yeah. yeah. It's, quite, it's a little bit like Ollie's V Festival. It's one in uh, Suffolk and then one over in Oxfordshire, so yeah. we do swapping over, although I'm probably not going by helicopter. And, you know. oh, I wish I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, bit of double cream in bit there. Bit of double cream in there. We're going to bring that down and reduce it down. Now, classic Burblon wouldn't have double cream in. No. So no, I put it in there to stabilise it. Put double cream in it just to stabilise it so that when you put the butter in, it holds it together. Yeah. Um, so you can make it, if you're making it at home, you know, it will stay and you can keep it warm on the side for an hour or so so it doesn't split out. Otherwise, you're going to serve it straight away so that the butter stays. So tell us about your place in Marlow. <laughs> it is a <laughs> one mission starred pub. It's a, you know, I've gone, it's not one of those. Uh, Hushed temples of gastronomy. It's one of the places where you can go. Proper grub. Proper, yeah, proper food in an environment that's. You know, you can come in there and spend 300 quid on a bottle of wine if you want, which would be yeah. great. But if you want to turn up and have a pint of beer and drink, you know, local ales and have steak and chips, that's absolutely fine as well. So, yeah. it's, so we're just adding butter to this. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. The secret of this is once you've added the butter, you, it's okay with the cream in it, but the idea is you do this on a lower heat. Exactly. Or you almost do off the heat. Almost off the heat, yeah. It's just on a gentle heat. Just emulsifying the butter, we'll give it a pinch of salt. Now I've turned that fish over. Because that only wants what? About five minutes? Yeah, like five that? minutes at the most. At yeah. the most. Not 20 minutes. But that's because it's not covered. Look, you know we do the <laughs> that best festival, me and you. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> okay, so the butter's in. Yeah. We'll pass that through a sieve. And then we can use this for a variety of different sauces. You could put orange zest in it, all kinds of Absolutely, stuff. Absolutely, yeah. You can Plus use it as a base sauce, sauce, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. You can use it as a complete base for everything. I'll move that out to one side. Lovely. So there's nothing else in there, just the butter on the radishes, that's all there is. Just the butter on the radishes, pinch of salt, you can just see they're still crisp, they're still, you know, all, they're just wilted down just a little bit. Right. Butter sauce ready, fish, fish is, is almost ready. Fish is chef? about another, another minute and a half away probably. Okay, so we'll start slowly yeah. plating that then. Little bit of butter well, sauce. That. Don't forget the all today's shooting recipes, including this one from Tom, are on our website, go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. And you can find dishes from our previous shows at bbc.co.uk forward slash recipes. Right, okay. Bit of butter sauce, two different types of radish. Now can you, you can let this go almost cold, though, can't you? Yeah, oh yeah, you can let it go almost go cold, but if you try to reheat it, it will split out again, which is, yeah. you don't really want that, so. Now these are the yeah. breakfast radishes as well, from your garden. Breakfast and, uh, yeah, breakfast and round radish from, from the garden, which is a, it's a new addition this year, so we grow in courgettes, beautiful courgette flowers. You know, the veg yeah. guys charge so much for them. Well, I don't understand where in, in, in Italy they use all the courgette flowers all over the place. But yeah. All over the place. Well, I don't know why you can't find courgette flowers in the UK. You can no. in certain places, but... I, 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 you see, I remember when I first came in England, you know, there was next door neighbour who was growing uh, gorget and the flower he yeah, had more and he was throwing away. So I didn't know which way I have to tell him, can I have uh, some of the gorget flower? So, because it looks, it looks terrible. So I said to him, can I have those courgette flowers because I'm going to bring them inside the church. <laughs> <laughs> we said, I had them all. I stuffed them all. I enjoyed it. <laughs> so, right, on top of the fish, which is in the oven just for a second, you're going to put this. Tell us about this stuff. Okay, Lardo, this is... A, it's an Italian cured pork back fat, basically. But this is ones we've done ourselves. I've right. done this myself. So. Have you heard of mangalista pigs, the ones with all the, the dread one. the hairy ones, yeah. So yeah. they've got a really high fat content, so we've taken the, uh, the fat off the belly and then we've cured it for about three weeks, washed it off and dried it, hung it up in the beer cellar, which really pleased my restaurant manager. She was yeah. very happy about that. Um, and then basically sliced it very thinly on a gravity slicer, so you've got this beautiful thin cured flavours of pork coming through. You ready. can actually just eat that with salad. And yeah, it is. On no, toast. On toast, just a li little very hot toast. And then a bit of parmesan, so any cheese on top. It could be we just Beautiful. put salt and paper. Fantastic! I love Tom. I right. love this dish. Fish is now cooked. Fish is cooked. Yeah. Okay. Fish into the middle of the plate. Then on top of that, a little piece of this home cured lardo. Now, if you haven't got that, just a thin slice of serrano. Yeah. Like that would be fine. Look at that. It just goes transparent straight away. It just cures yeah. down. Yeah. 
And then onto that, we're going to put some borage flowers that are also fresh from our garden. It's very pretty, look. It's a pretty dish. <laughs> borage flowers, they taste of uh, cucumbers and oysters. Yeah. Cucumbers yeah. and oysters mixed into one. So there we go. The leaves of the borage as well. So there you go. Remember what this is again? This is uh, pollock, line court Cornish pollock with radishes, rolls and borage flowers. I told you it was good. Looks delicious. Mm. I know it's going to taste delicious mm. as well. So, are we? Can you get another top? Oh, have a yes, seat. Indeed. Got another, another dive in. It is a pretty oh, dish, isn't it? Yeah. 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 it? Ah, that would have ruined it. Yeah, it ruined it. You salt the fish like that, it, it changes the texture of it. Absolutely. Well. Makes it quite firm, almost really quite meaty, which is why the pork goes with the fat on it goes with it really well. Yeah. Mmm, good mushroom. Dive into that. And taste that with the, the little bit of lardo as well. It's really, really thin, almost like sort of. Cling film. Yeah, on exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Mm. Yeah. He's happy with that one. I don't think you're going to get a look in over <laughs> at the, <far laughs> end of the table. So while they're diving in, let's go back oh. to Sussex to see what Ollie has chosen to go with Tom's perfect pollock. With that. Fantastic, goes really well. It's beautiful, clean, lovely. It looks really good, yeah. Tastes fantastic as well. And a bargain, I think, a £6.50, bit of a bargain. Now, you said you weren't going to drink at the start of the show. <laughs> this is your third glass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice, that's nice, that. You like that one? Mm. Mm. Girls yeah, happy with nice. that? Yeah. And do you know, what do you rate of the food? Oh, it's just marvellous. I've just had a lovely, pretty lady on a plate. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to know about your dreams but anyway <laughs> and now you can be joining us here at the chef table sometime in the series all you have to do is write to us with your name address and most importantly a daytime phone number our address is saturday kitchen p.o box 3188 se11 4xs and don't forget the stamp please right you had one go at this do you want another go yes right it's time to conclude the northeast heat of the great british menu it's main course is next but after that be prepared